Chapter 18.2 Mumba Device to Drill and Tap Cases for OAL Gauge Let's look at the content of the Drill and Tap Set or Kit. The head has screw thread on the inside to screw it onto the dies. The shoulder of the bush presses against the head on the inside. The hardened steel bush serves as a guide to drill through with a 5mm steel drill. A Somter M6 spiral point tap is provided. The hardened steel bush is the guide for the tap. The shaft of the Somta tap is thinner in the middle so that it will go far enough through the bush to tap the case completely. A standard tap will probably not work here. The use of the M6 bolt will be discussed later. A roll of brass shim stock of one thou is also provided. To ensure that a fired case will comfortably fit into the rifle's chamber, Mumba recommends that the full case body be slightly resized, just enough for the case to be inserted into the chamber by hand. Remove the primer. Clean the primer pocket. Resize the body so that the shoulder is pushed back with a body die or a full length die by at least one thou. Confirm with head and shoulder comparator measurements that the resizing is sufficient. In this case, the shoulder was pushed back by 0.03 mm, 1.2 thou. The case will fit comfortably into the chamber and can be pushed into the chamber by hand. I prefer to resize the neck as well to make sure that the case will fit comfortably into the chamber. Let's drill and tap the case. I use a Reading body die without a decapping pin or expander rod. If you use a normal full length die, remove the decapping pin or expander rod completely. Place the case by hand in the body die or full length die from the bottom or open end, the same way as when you resize the case. The hardened steel bush serves as a guide to drill straight with a 5mm steel drill. The head has screw thread on the inside to screw it onto the die. Fit the smaller bush, the one with the 5mm hole, so that the shoulder will press against the head on the inside. Screw the head with the bush in place onto the body die. The body die, or full length die, is the perfect glove to hold the case firmly to drill and tap. If we grip the case differently, for example in a bench vise or the jaws of a lathe, we will probably dent the case wall. The case will then not fit into the rifle's chamber completely. Screw the head on tightly by hand to ensure that the case is well gripped. Clamp into the bench vise. Confirm that the case is gripped tightly. Place the 5mm drill bit in a handheld drill. Drill the hole through the bush which serves as a guide for the drill.
A hardened steel bush serves as a guide for the tap. Remove the head with the 5mm bush. Install the 6mm bush. Screw the head with the bush in place firmly onto the body die. Prepare the Somta tap. Here I use a device with a T-handle to do the tap work. You can also hold the tap with a small shifting spanner or vice grip. Apply cutting oil to the tap. Tap M6 screw thread into the case. Screw the M6 bolt with the washer onto the screw thread of the case. Unscrew the head to pull the case from the body die. Unscrew the case from the bolt. And there we tapped a case that was fired with our own rifle with M6 screw thread. Wash the case properly in thinners. The neck of the case has probably been constricted. We have to stretch the neck so that the bullet will move freely and smoothly through the neck. Cut four pieces of one thou brass shim stock, i.e. the yellow rolled sheet in the holder, each about three to five millimeters wide. The sheet is soft enough to be cut with scissors. Bend the top end of the brass pieces. Hang the pieces on the neck of the case with the longer pieces to the inside. Seat a bullet with the brass pieces in place. The bullet must be placed deep enough so that the straight portion of the shaft will open the full length of the neck. Push the bullet deeper rather than shallower. Remove the bullet from the case. Remove the loose brass pieces from the neck. Test whether the bullet moves loosely and freely in the neck of the case.
This bullet is still too tight and does not fall freely from the case neck. Place the brass pieces in the neck again with the longer side on the inside. Cut new pieces of the brass sheet if necessary. Seat the bullet and remove it for a second time from the case. Remove the loose pieces of brass from the case neck. Deburr the mouth or opening and smooth the inside of the neck with fine steel wool. Test whether the bullet fits loosely and freely in the neck of the case. Our bullet fits perfectly loose, a sliding fit.